Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, hello. Back. welcome back, welcome back. Now, Chinese food, right? Mm-hmm. Have you ever thought about how different people from different countries eat Chinese food? Like in in the UK, have you heard of bang bang chicken? They have it here too. But what is it? It's basic, as far as I'm aware, bang bang ji yeah. in Chinese. It's called yes. bang bang ji. Yeah. And then ji is chicken, so bang bang ji. Yeah. Um, I believe it's like... Um, I think it's steamed chicken chopped up like a like a chicken rice. Like yeah, yeah, like hanan, like yeah, hanan, yeah. But it's submerged in like this chili and like peanut and sour and sweet oh. kind of sauce. Ooh. It's very good. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like one of my go-to entrees. Really? Um, How did you discover it, the dish? Oh, because I'm hanging out with a bunch of Chinese all the time and they're always like, bang bang ji, bang bang ji, bang bang ji. Ah, like, so you actually didn't get it from... The British. No, oh. I got it in the way in a, a Sichuan restaurant. It's a Sichuan dish. It's a. It's like very like it's drenched in chili. Is it? Drenched chili oil, yeah. Tr- like is it super spicy? Uh, not really. Surprisingly, I think the the peanut sauce. Like, yeah. It's like a peanut butter. It's yeah. like kind of like. Oh yeah, covering. that kind of sesame oil. Yeah, sesame oil. Do you yeah, find if you eat too much of that, you get sick? No. <laughs> you don't. No. Oh my god, but I get like with the English version. No, so this is like an article on the BBC and it's talking about like why British Chinese food has shocked Americans, Uh right? And I kind of agree because like I lived in Bathurst for a few years, right? Um, Growing up, went to university in Bathurst and there was a Bathurst Chinese restaurant. And when you're like Chinese, I remember my dad and I was so excited because I was like to my dad, oh my God, yeah. you have to come to Bathurst. Like yeah. it's a really, really good Chinese restaurant. And I was almost like really proud because yeah. it's like, oh, okay, I know it's a country, but there is this one Chinese restaurant. Yeah. He came in. It was the funniest thing. Like maybe because I'd been living in Bathurst for too long yeah. that I was like, oh my God, I'll take anything Chinese, anything. Yeah, really and then as soon as they got in, dad like, because he ran a Chinese restaurant yes. for so many years, yes. he kind of looked at the dish and saw like pineapples everywhere. He's like, oh, no. hell no. <laughs> like, yes, yes, yes. like oh, what? But what of it's this like, was bang bang chicken? Yeah, no, 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 it wasn't. Oh. But like, it's kind of the idea yeah. of like authentic Chinese food yeah. versus like, you know, what Chinese food you get in, say, like Sydney, yes. or if you get in like kind of generic forms yes, of Chinese yes, food, right? Because yes. like, when you think about it, sweet and sour chicken yeah right or sweet pork. and sour pork yeah. um do you have that like is that like your top five chinese dishes to go to honestly yes but because i've been hanging out a lot with chinese they would never ever yes that. that's what i mean yeah, yes, yes, honestly, yes 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 it's, it's yeah i know i'm the favorite. same I, i'm the same like i yeah down with that taste because that actually have a chinese roots yeah yes i think um um, but, or something like that. I forgot the name. Yeah. Um, it has an actual Chinese equivalent that is more authentic and that Chinese would order. Yes. But that one is definitely a slanted version. Yeah, of it, <laughs> yes, of it. Yeah, because yes. it was talking about like Cantonese food that you know back in the day when we were growing up, it was like ninety nine percent Cantonese food. Yeah. And then it's like changed, you know, to the rise of Sichuan food, and then yeah. even like growing up when you think about like things that we would eat yeah. and because we had a restaurant and yeah. then that restaurant would sometimes cater for like the English yeah. like um, you know population as well yeah, yeah like sweet and sour pork yeah. and then um, Mongolian sh- lamb Mongolian lamb Even there's Shang Shui Bao there's a dish uh, quite popular in Australia I'm not sure elsewhere in the yeah. world called Shandong Chicken doesn't exist in Shandong <laughs> Doesn't exist in China. I love it. <laughs> but it's so popular, and yeah. it's one that we, me and my Chinese friends, all would always order. have. Always would. So order. can you? Exp- so they, that yeah. one probably is the most. Um, what's the word like? Uh, Whiteized. Oh uh, yes, yes. Chinese food that is loved by the Chinese. Oh. Like if you go to Shanghai restaurant, there's always Shandong Chi. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Shandong chicken. Yeah. And then it doesn't exist in China. So Everyone what is it? What is exist. it for the ones listening? Oh, it's basically yeah. just um, crispy skin fried chicken. Oh yes, and yes. And then it's submerged in this like sweet and uh, vinegary 
sauce, like a, a dark black sauce. Oh basically. yes, then, yes, uh, yeah, the smothered duck. in like uh, chicken, chicken, uh, smothered in like a uh, garlic, chili, and onion, spring onions solution as well. Ah, yeah. okay, yes, and then you eat it with white rice, steamed rice. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Or, or by itself, like you know. Yeah. And, yeah, and then it's just so good. The combination of the vinegar and the sweetness is just real good, and the crispiness of the of the well. yeah. yeah. Of the but chicken. that one surprisingly well accepted in the Asian community. Oh yeah, yeah, right. But the ones where as soon as I see like a can of pineapple that's being opened, yeah, near a dish, I know yeah. Sweet and Sour has like that pineapple like yeah. sweet taste. Yeah. Look, I'm not like an elitist when it comes to food or mm. eat anything and everything. But then I think like the older generation, where you're just trying to impress your like, you know, your dad. I was yeah. trying to impress my dad. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, where have you taken me? I think that generation is more I think for food, particular about food. Asians for food is hard. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> yeah, like when you go to a restaurant, they'll tell you like five don't things before you sit be, down. Don't even have, doesn't have to be old people, just any Asian food it's in general. Like it's... Yeah, it's hard to impress them. <laughs> to impress them. Yeah, I get that. My sister's a bit like that. Yeah. Where I re- remember making like a recommendation yeah. to like a French restaurant. And then it was like, I thought it was really good salad. Yeah. And I was like, you have to go to this salad place. You have to do it. And then like, as soon as they went there, I think it was at Sacre Coeur. They were like, what are you on about? <laughs> this is like not even close. I think it's just like the lens of being able to judge food is yeah. so much more like you know yeah it has to be the best it has to yeah or, or, or it just have to suit the like they're very, yeah that's true very, it has like, to suit the palate and they're yeah. very um opinionated yeah um like literally like if they ever used to utter the word not too sweet that's the best compliment and you can get from an asian oh uh, yes literally yeah like, yeah literally. yeah like the food's oh, not it's not too sweet like the dessert like, oh, oh yeah the dessert no sweet. i think that's like perfect I don't even think, well, even growing up, right, dessert was so not a part of, besides like the Chinese dessert, like the sticky sesame black sesame rice and like the green jelly, the traditional stuff. Other than that, but like my parents weren't really big on dessert. Mango pudding? (laughs) No, no. Even like we'd have mango pancakes. Chopped up uh, watermelons. <laughs> yeah, chopped up watermelons and then like chopped slices, orange yeah, slices. Yes. That's what you get. And then rock melon too. Yeah, sometimes right? the orange slices is so sour. <laughs> yes, I think orange slices must be the most untouched one usually in, in Cantonese restaurants. Oh, really? It's, it's a hidden myth, like, you know. Oh, the oranges. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's so like the way of doing like an Asian thing where it's like, oh, I don't really care, like, yeah. you know, if it tastes nice or not, I've got it on a, you know, bulk sale discount. Yeah. <laughs> Costco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Costco. Uh, um, okay, have you heard of this app, Clapper? No. Okay, so. Wait, sorry. Yes, because you mentioned it, but before that, no. Okay. Clapper is TikTok for adults. It yeah. works pretty much exactly like TikTok. And we talk around TikTok potentially being banned. This is like the next go-to apparently. So there's no ads in the app. So creators are encouraged to make money by selling subscriptions and asking for tips. Um, And the creators in Texas, they want to create a space for older generations to feel more comfortable, Mm. right? So it's kind of like a grown-up TikTok and where parents of TikTok users can express themselves. So the average age of usage apparently is 35 to 55. Mm-hmm. And then the the reason why it's for adults is because the app can only be downloaded for 17 years or up. Oh, right. Yes. So yeah. Just it's that older, older demographic. Yeah. I'm quite interested because it's like number 25 on the app store in terms of its popularity. And I think from last I checked, it's like 400,000. Um, you know, active downloads, um, I think a week, which is quite, oh, yeah, quite anyways, it's quite a lot. It has about 300,000 active daily users yeah. on the day. On, on the app, yeah. So do you think this will take off something similar to like TikTok, but for mm. older adults and there's no ads? So pretty much it's like, as you scroll along, it's yeah. quite clean, it's just the content. theme. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's It's difficult to 
go against the giant because mm. there has been two other apps that has tried it in the past. Yeah. Um, I think one of them is called like Thrill or Thriller. Or yes, something. yes, I remember that one. And there's yeah. another one I can't remember what. And then um, the only reason why another app um, blossomed in because India banned TikTok and then mm. Snack Media. Came yes, in that's that right. One. Yes, yes. Is that still <coughs> big? In is that, India is the only one that's oh, available. Oh, so really? Right. There's no competition there's no, except Instagram and YouTube Shorts. Yeah, okay. That's why okay. there's a huge population of Indian community in Shorts because yes, yes, what's available there. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It just depends on how they, um, how they go in the next six months to a mm, year mm. to see whether they can compete or not. Because, yeah. yeah. It's, it's always funny, like, to watch these things, like – you know, how do you separate? I think there was like a point in time when in 07, it was like Twitter, Facebook, yeah. all of these, you know, best in class would come up. Yeah. And then it's only been like Instagram and WhatsApp, which is both owned by Facebook. Yeah. And then now it's kind of like, who's going to be the next one? Like there was Be, be Real. I mean, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's of, interesting like right to now. see. I it's supposed to be real. Yeah, it's like the infrastructure that you kind of need to support everything, don't you? I did notice the younger demographics still use Snapchat a lot. Snap, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes when people ask for a picture with me, sometimes they still stay... Yeah. They still use Snapchat. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. No, I think Snapchat yeah. is still, like, amongst the teenagers, mm. is resonating quite well. Um, how do you watch TV now? Like, do you watch TV? TV? Yeah. Yeah, but do you watch a lot of apps on your TV? Or do you Oh, I watch... primarily only use the apps. Yeah, I yeah. I don't use the channel anymore. But I recently bought a Samsung, yeah. a frame, because I love, because it doubles as a, look like a frame. Yeah. Um, it, I don't even have to plug in the TV anymore to the, uh, like, the cable. The really? Ca- because now it has Samsung TV. So as long as you are plugged into internet, like, they give me, like, 100 channel for free. Like, what? Yeah. It's like... A, In it's Samsung? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. So, so what? It's like, like you buy the frame of the TV? No, no. Mm-hmm. The, the, the TV is called the frame. Oh. Because it doubles. It looked like a frame. I'll show you later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah my yeah. TV, that one. I'll turn yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I didn't turn on the... Because the, there's an art mode. So I can turn on the art mode mm. and look like a painting on the wall. No. Yeah, but really? I I That's so cool. Because I, I put a stand on it. Yeah. I could... I think because we're planning on buying another house. Yeah. When we move, we're going to put it on the actual wall. Oh, yeah. So and it that looks like literally a... literally will look like just wow, a painting. Wow. That's so, so cool. Yeah, How long they, has that been out for? They launched it in 2018. This is like the version number three or four. So oh. Like yeah. And then... But yeah, so in Samsung, there was a Samsung TV. And yeah. And you click on it. No, I didn't even click on it. I just... It was on idle. And then yeah. suddenly it just switched to Came TV. On. And I'm yeah. like, I didn't plug this into... A, our like landline cable yeah, and yeah. The, the TV yeah. cable and then I noticed oh wow there's so many channels and they're all free like they're all included in the TV oh it's all added on into the yeah. TV well the reason I say this is because YouTube is really leaning into um, connected TV yeah. so it's saying that a lot of demographics are really watching TV but they're watching YouTube on TV yes that's what I do 100% that's what I yeah. do too now I do it in the bathroom <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like when I take a shower. You watch I, it on your TV? Yeah, because I have a, I told when I renovate the, the uh, bathroom, I told them yeah, I want to look. Uh, like a, yeah, a yeah. niche, a niche, they call yeah, it a yeah. niche. Yeah, yeah. Where the, like, you know. Like, oh, it you know, stands up. No, no. So you shower and yeah. in front of you is a wall. Yeah. And then there is a wall that's gone in a little bit so that you could put your um, soap and stuff like that. So the wall is kind of niched a little bit in, like, you know. But doesn't the screen get foggy? No. Really? Yeah, and then I just put it on the niche. And then literally it's in front of me. Oh my god, that's so good. But yeah, good. so there you go. That looks like oh, that. wow. That actually looks like a and frame. And then you can actually change up the actual... The art frame. No, the, yeah, the frame. You mm. can change it up. So you, Samsung sells them. So it's oh, like, wow. Yeah, that's so clever. There you go. So it's really good. Like, I love my TV. It's like 85 inch. <laughs> yeah. Like giant. That's so... Oh, wow. I never noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> never noticed it. Because then you thought it's a frame. No? So yeah, I thought it was a frame. Uh, now there is have you heard of connie chung yes yes okay actress no she she's a tv anchor oh yeah yeah connie chung like freaking the g gangs top gangster um yes of the 80s 90s yeah yeah, americans married married to murray povich 
Oh. Yeah. So in America, Connie is like the hero for Asian Americans, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. To the point where a lot of mums who migrated to Australia, uh, migrated to America, America. Yep. called their daughters Connie. Yeah. And then the New York Times, they've done an article where they've tracked down all these different Connies. Yeah. And like kind of got them to explain their life yeah. because they're all connected through the same name. Yeah. And what they found through the article was a lot of the mums who gave their daughters the names are kind of they're working, you know, menial jobs yeah. and, you know, as, as you would as a migrant. Yeah. Uh, but they all kind of wanted their daughters to strive for more and yeah. to live the American dream. Because yeah. when you think about when Connie started, she started, you know, in a male dominated industry Industry, and she kind of rose her way up through the ranks yeah yeah isn't that fascinating to think that like your impact would be so big to have generations named after you yeah right that's really cool i didn't notice there's a lot of all the connie that i know now yeah in like american celebrity world yeah all asians the connies (laughs) yeah. yeah 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 i wonder it's interesting it's an interesting name connie as well yeah like i wonder the Maybe it's short for Constance. <laughs> and then that's yeah, why there's maybe. a famous Chinese actress named Called Constance, Constance Wu. Wu. Yeah. What is Connie? I'm just doing a quick... Constance, you are right. Oh, my God. Oh, you are so oh right. God, what are the chances? I love Connie Chung. She's like... Even like because in... Because there is another Connie Chung. And there's another Connie and it's a celebrity. Right. Isn't that fascinating? That there's like a generation of Constance. Yeah. Yeah. Because she, she's like the pioneer. I find American yeah. anchors are very much like the pioneer of like TV, you know, like the old establishment yeah. of like role modeling, right? Yeah. Because in Australia, there was no one. Um, yeah. And <coughs> in America, you'd have Connie Chung, yeah. Juju Chang. I think she's still reporting. Mm-hmm. Um, Lisa Ling, a yeah. lot of like Asian faces. Lisa Ling. Lisa Ling's like so cool. She Isn't was, something tragic happened to her family? Yeah, I think it her sister kidnapped. was kidnapped. Yeah, yes, in in Cambodia. Or yeah, I want to say yeah, yeah she was somewhere. kidnapped, but then she was found. Right. Yeah, yeah that was. Crazy. I remember that being like a big news story. Um, yeah. So look, yeah. would you be um, pleased if someone named their child after you? Oh, that has happened. What? Three times. Three times? Yeah, three times. I think three times. <laughs> There's three Adrians that was named after me. True. Yeah, just friends of my mum's. Uh, like, and then uh, our best friend in Melbourne, like, yes, named the second child Adrian. Oh, my God. I love how and, you said uh, that very casually. Like, yeah, it's happened three times. Yeah. Cause <laughs> me, like, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, apparently they really... They said, oh, yeah, one of their pers- your personality on the blah, 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 blah. Oh, like, wow. Yeah, that's really like sweet. That. Yeah, it is really sweet. Yeah, I yeah. didn't think much about it. Maybe it will mean more to me when I'm older. Well, when they're older as well. Like, yeah, And maybe. they'll be like, do you want to meet your namesake, the original Adrian? I'm just kind of, you know, in my head, like, I can just think about all of these children. Like, in my head, like, when... Because I'm watching Fresh Off the Boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, like, children, like, when they see... Uh, or And Modern Family. I can mm. say, I just... Back to back. I just finished Modern Family, now I'm Fresh Off the Boat. So it's yeah. about, like, family and children, right? Yeah. So in my head, it's like these children's just, like, off the old pe- older people. Like, w- me being older people. Yeah. Like, they're just like, you're not cool. Like, you know, it's just... <laughs> How they so be you? Even if they're older and they're like, oh, I'm barely... Or, like we hang out together with the mum and the mum yeah. says you know that your name come from the-? and yeah. then they're just it? like Meh. like oh, you know, they're, the just, they're just like what else <laughs> I don't care I don't give a fuck yeah I think maybe in like a few years when yeah. they're like in their 20s the only thing that will keep mm. me cool mm-hmm. as an older person mm. one day if maybe my Instagram is like a million followers by oh then. yeah that's true yeah <laughs> that's how when you would get your coolness that, yeah the people like you know, unless I'm sure Instagram hopefully will last <laughs> until then <laughs> I think it will. A million, wow, what yeah. A you know what? My dream right now is just hitting half a million. <laughs> half a mil. So how um, how long do you think it'll take for you to get to half a mil? 
I think last time I calculated it because I think at the moment I'm getting about between 500 to 1500 a day new mm. followers. Mm-hmm. So if I break it down to 800 a day, yeah. Times three hundred sixty-five. That's a year, right? Yeah. So that's almost three hundred thousand a year. Oh, okay. Right? Yes. And that because so far, about five hundred to eight hundred. So far, between five hundred to eight hundred daily is like pretty much guaranteed mm. in the past six months. Yeah. Like right. 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 Um, I just need the trajectory to continue. To continue. Yep. Yep. Then half a million should be hopefully yeah it could be doable within two years yeah um, oh you have to do yeah. something big for it i love watching when they celebrate like the big milestones yeah, like skydiving you know what i mean all. like I do that enough because when it when i hit a hundred thousand mm. yeah like celebration going out to eat like that's what our daily lives <laughs> no it has to be like something big that you would never do because last time i think the only time was we hit I think 100 on Instagram. Oh, no. 50 on Instagram mm. and 70 on TikTok. Mm-hmm. And then a cake company wanted to send a cake and it's like in the shape of a uh, a universe. Oh, and then when you break wow. it open, the earth, in a, in a, it says congratulations, 70K on the TikTok. Or oh, wow. That's that so really clever. And That's really Boost nice. Point, so yep, it's yep. overlooking the opera house. Yeah. That was the only time that we... We celebrate it. Yeah. You got to celebrate the wins. I think it's the because yeah. we, you, I, analyze and see the number every single day. Oh right, it's like that a kid. It's just so incremental. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though in saying that, for me, it's incremental because I see it every day. But for a lot of people, they say, "Oh my god, that's how much I grew a month or something like that," which I appreciate. Everyone's mm-hmm. at different yeah. level. I'm blessed that I'm getting this growth, but mm. yeah, it's. For me, it looked incremental, like because I'm just looking at it every day. So by the time it hits five hundred thousand, I'd be already looking at it for four hundred ninety thousand for the past three weeks. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? It doesn't seem like it I'm seems like you're moving like, the needles boom. slowly. Yeah. It's it's like a child, right? It's like if you see that child every day, if that child the feels growth, the same. Yeah. But then if you haven't seen this child for like six months or a year, yeah. you're like, oh my god. That's it. Yeah. Like, you know, like a friend of mine who literally grew in three weeks and YouTube like. Two hundred thousand, whatever. Yeah, like that would be wow. Like you know, yeah, yeah, but when yeah. you see it incrementally, yeah, maybe that's why I haven't been so uh, uh what's the word like uh, celebratory. Yeah, as, about it as much as I should. Yeah, because you should always celebrate the wins. I'm all for that. Like oh, I, every day, I'm grateful. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Cele- like celebrate. I, yeah. I don't do that enough. Yeah, because you're just working, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. a grind. Like working and working. Like it's two works. Yes, I'm yes. I'm pretty much working seven days a week. Uh, do <laughs> you find like you are, like you can, in terms of like finding ways to like meditate or like I being... Like, I don't, I'm not a believer of meditation. But then I think you're like overall you're quite calm though. Like mm. you're... Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I find sometimes if you... Getting if you're, things done. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I just take it. As I go. Yeah, yeah. Take it as you go. You don't let every anything o- overwhelm you too much. Like sometimes yeah. it does, but again, what do you do? Even like, every time I'm overwhelmed, my motto is like, you "Still gotta do it." So let's just get on it. Still let's do just get it. on it. Okay, let's like, go. Like literally, on. that's what I like. Literally, what I every time like. Oh like, gosh, there's so much things to do. Yeah. Okay, what's instead of dwelling on oh, there's so much things mm, to do. Okay, mm. what's the first thing I can tick off? Yeah, right. What's in my the head first is immediately compartmentalize it into a tick like a into like, tick boxes. Yeah, okay. like tasks, yeah, right? Tasks. It's like wake up today, have a list of tasks and slowly go through the tasks. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't you're kind of less emotional about it and more view it as like a mental thing. Yeah. Like of things to tick off. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of getting overwhelmed by it emotionally. That's it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Crazy. Um all right, so what should people put at the end of the podcast if they've stayed? What emoji? API. <laughs> no, because you're talking about coffee chicken. Uh, uh, what was the person? What was the thing? Oh, what about the chicken? Like the food, chi- the chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chicken. Put chicken drumsticks. <laughs> Put chicken drumsticks at the end. Yes. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank you.